bust out a five. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bust yeah, out yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah. Bust out nine. And the game could go on forever and ever. Wow. Good point, Babs. Good point. Never thought of it that way, but you could do that same thing back until one of us falls asleep or something. And then you crashed out. No, you passed out. No, no, you were peeing. I was waiting for you to come back. You never did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once I went to a bar and I uh, met this guy and he told, and we played rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And he told me before we started that he was going to beat me every time. And he and, did. Yeah, five times in a row. And he said he was going to beat me like five times in a row. Was and that's Russian? what he did. I don't know. You don't know? You and know. it really tripped me out. And I was like, how did you do that? Like, I was really confused. Somebody did something to happen like that to me recently, too, as well. They made me do something with cards, right? And there was no explanation to the card game. There just wasn't. But he knew. And then... I forget, like, I won at one point, and I got the Queen of Hearts, and he had the King of whatever. King of whatever and so I had to hand the card to him and it was like ah, <laughs> it was funny but how did they get you to incident. do that I, they did, got you to do things that you wouldn't <laughs> normally do they yeah at the same time that they guessed it right every time yeah and that blew your mind it was other things involved like how did he know I was going to give him that card and then that card meant something later <laughs> It was a trip and a half, man. It was like some kind of freaked out card game. I went into this magic store on South Street uh, that was right near where Peter lives, and that, where we went to that meeting, and um, with Jackie, this woman from England. And we're standing in the store, and the guy says, want to see a card trick? And she says, sure. And he says, pick any card. And she says, ten of hearts. He says, look up. There's a ten of hearts on the ceiling. Oh my God, dude! <laughs> he, he must have noticed it. No, no, he—it's his magic shop, and he somehow this is one of his tricks. He's able to convince the people that, that, it's always a ten of hearts. No, it is a ten of hearts, right. and he gets them to pick the ten of hearts. He does this on the ceiling. He gets them to. That's his magic. Because well, their subconscious sees, but their eyes don't. Right? Is that what it is? I guess is so. It? That's so obvious when you say it that <laughs> or way. Or is it magic? It, it's both. Is it magic? <laughs> a little bit of magic intermint. And what is magic? You know, it's mind control. So this is just... No, a, it's, it's not. Magic's a good thing. Magic's a thing of nature. Mind control is not a thing of nature. Magic is a thing of nature. Depends how you control it. What if you make it dance into well, natural beauty? A thing you're nature. supposed to say that your intent creates it, right? Is that what you're trying to say? So your intent creates the magic? I get you. Well, what's the word magic mean to you? Is it something good or bad? It's something that can't be explained scientifically. Mm -hmm. But what else is it? luck and perchance and fortune and wow. serendipity and all intermist in want such as this mind-blowing experience for you if it blows your mind it's magic wow i love like that george do you like carlin. what your mom said isn't that great george oh. carlin created magic with words what? yeah lots of people do yeah you are doing it right now that was great because you're defining it from the uh, subjective inside how it feels, what it means to you. Uh, yeah, that's you know? what it means to me. Oh, okay. Look, I put in the word magic. We all love it. They, the computer's going to love it, too. What's this say? The computer's going to love magic. Yeah, get some magic in here. I'll give you the smells if we can have our magic in the computer and think of the ghost in the machine. Yeah. Ooh, okay, ready? What's it say? Read it. Mary. Wow, that's it starts weird. With MA. And there's an alliteration. With MA. Is that consonants? It with MA. Yeah, but is it consonants or alliteration, Becky? Which one is it? It's, it's coincidence. Consonants. Oh, very good. <laughs> Just it's, it's coincidence. Just check in. It's a quinky thing. So both. what's it say? It says married, momentous, arrogant, vivid, understand. <laughs> wow, that has meaning to me. That has a lot so of anything that's momentous, that was basically the word you used, right? Momentous. Yeah, that was vivid, like the, momentous. And vivid, yeah, right, and understand. And arrogant is interesting. What do you mean the word you used? Didn't we put in magic? But you said, um, well, you, when you were explaining, any uh, magic is something that you can't, like, 
explain. explain. Uh, and it blows your mind. Yeah, and it blows momentous. your mind. Momentous. It's a momentous event. Right, because it's it's, it's memorable. It's like a revelation. It's like when you have an yeah. epiphany. Right, which is, says understand. It's like a more, isn't it an epiphany like a mind orgasm? I would say. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That? I th Isn't that's, it kind of like that? Sure. It's a big aha ha. Ah, that's a quinky dink. Yeah. An epiphany is different than a quinky dink. Well, uh, it depends. If it's a quinky dink <laughs> that makes you go, oh my God, okay. over and over again, you know, or yeah, some other emotion yeah. burst into tears or burst into laughter and. Every time you think about Quinky it, you dink, get a little that nutty. Dink puts you, <laughs> maybe that quinky dink helps you to live your, helps you to survive. Just because that quinky dink happens, it helps you to survive in the future. Kept it real for you. That's interesting. So then it becomes like a predictor. When everything is like robotic to you, a quinky dink will come along and change your mind about things. Yeah. That's what got me through work and stuff. Those just, quinky dinks? Yeah. Wow. It's so boring. You just, but they're weird like things with the music and customers. Jeez, it was a real survival orders. system for you. Yeah. Wow. Bandito. All right, give me the powder. You have the powder handy? It's. I think it's in that green bag right there. The right, first I'll, one I'll try to the, the right. Powder. Thank you. You don't mind? You see it in what the... What about the Nikita? I'm really disappointed. Well, you could spray him too. Just spray him along the back. Oh, this, this isn't what I should put on him, though, right? This yeah, is yeah. Just for the flooring and stuff. No, no. no. It's, it's for just don't get it in their eyes. I or know nose. what diatomaceous earth is. Diatomaceous earth is crowned up um, seashells and such. So right. The, the flay dries up. Yeah. Because you can't survive without its blood. It's extremely <laughs> uh, osmotic. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. That's too? way too much. Just take little pinches. Dump that whole thing back in. Really? Just take a little pinch in your fingers. Not a, no, don't rub it on your hands. You want to, because then it kind of all yeah, goes but away. Yeah, I gotta grab them. I gotta pull them yeah, out. Yeah, you should have grabbed them. You don't like it. You we sh like we should have snuck up on him. <laughs> all right, all right, come on. He'll come back out. Come on, you're getting a massage now. Good boy. Is he an angel? I see my baby, 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 baby. Just baby. put uh, a pinch where you think they're gonna be hanging out, and then just right, rub well. it in. <laughs> he looks like he's wet. <laughs> Do you ever see those animals that bathe themselves in like sand or something? You want to like give them a spray? Yeah. This this oil. Nah, he's had enough trauma for one night. I don't that think was, he'll get that upset. Oh no, my baby does not get what he does not want. He well, he might want it. Let wants. him sniff it. He's had enough. He's obviously encounter. not happy. I ain't gonna traumatize him with the spray now. I mean, obviously, look at him. Well, it's not that traumatic. If it takes the stuff away, maybe he's not a panicky. Well, if you want to do it to him, feel free. But man, I want to come near him with spray. If I were you, he might growl and bite you. He might. That dog is so sweet. I've I never know, seen him do but that. When it comes to stuff like that, if it's a stranger, you heard him scream. Ah, <laughs> 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 too late. Too bad. Everybody else did it. Oh my God, what kind of sound is that? Oh, we should, re there? We should restage it. Real mellow the whole time. The cat can't hurt him. Oh, you mean? Well, actually, the cat could. You mean the casty claw? Well, that's a good the thing. The cat doesn't. Th dog doesn't think this is funny. He left. <laughs> <laughs> Five, give me five, give me five. <laughs> <laughs> then they become robotic, these real creatures of the future. They can live on any land, so they go they get sent in because they have such a strong immunity to all things. But they get sent into disaster areas. And well yeah, they are immune to everything. Like so it affects them too. It affects them too. Yeah, like when they're sprayed by all the bug spray. Like how cockroaches can how survive co radiation. Right, you can figure out how they survive and then follow their DNA or whatever, get it in yours. And, you know, through that period of a nuclear war, what do they say is the only thing that lives? Cockroaches. Cockroaches. So make yourself as much like a cockroach for the future if you can plan it on virtual reality. If it happens, it's possible. It could happen. Imagine what spy technology is. <laughs> Metamorphosis. Come on, you're right. Like, what if it's like a cocoon? It's a placenta. Did you ever hear that song? The new mother, uh, baby. The baby opens her eyes. Pale blue colored eyes. 
while the placenta falls <laughs> to the floor. <laughs> you never heard that song? <laughs> oh, that feeling coming down again. It's oh. like the ocean catching the wind. wind. Voice of reason, something falling in my head again. I don't really know the real lyrics there. Yeah, like that song. Yeah. You think maybe we could hear that song, Arthur? Not unless you can sing it. How about Killer Queen? You promised me Killer Queen and I haven't heard it yet. You promised. You lion, 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 lion. Roar. Do you have lying eyes or lion eyes? Mm. Lion eyes it. Did you see my Facebook post? Because my friend posted yeah. that lion eyes was the word of the day, cause they, and that they were going to start I, posting the word of the day. Oh, really? Or was I, that you that told me lion eyes? No, I no, didn't yeah, hear yeah, the word yeah. of the day. It was my friend Jordy, I didn't hear it I because I posted on your website about lion eyes or lion eyes. I wrote L-Y-I-N-G eyes or L-I-O-N eyes. And, and I played, and it had that weird bird. The one that looked like a vulture? Yeah. Yeah. Like, why would the... <laughs> what was with the blue then, vulture like, looking thing, you know? Yeah. So it made you keep guessing. Lion eyes or lion eyes? Yeah. We, and, should, uh, we should have a post of the day week, with all friend, these things. My friend posted the word of the day, which was lion eyes. I-N-J? Lion eyes. Like, and lion eyes means to, um, like, put on a pedestal. Oh, to admire. Does? Yeah, like something that's Aww, like in the view of the public. You're teaching me something new. So I said, um, you can't hide your lion eyes. <laughs> Killer. Killer queen, please. We cannot resist now. We must hear it. We should have the whole thing of these word of the day and, and phrase of the day and the twisted Can puzzle. Can we at least get the nearest up? How do you do it? It's How not a crime it? to rhyme. Oh, it's got to be the other computer. Where's the other computer? Where, where, where? Becky's on it. No, not the foot. Oh, that's the other computer. No, uh. That has you have some other kind of computer. computer. Where'd you get that? That's an iPod. Is that the thing. one with the smells? <laughs> wow, wouldn't that be cool? They have yeah. scratch and sniff. You could have like a whole micro thing of scratch and sniff. Do you know sniff. that in Playboy magazine, the most popular Playboy magazines and the ones worth most money were the ones where it had you know, a woman's bush or whatever, and it said scratch and sniff. Really? And it actually smelled like it? And it smelled like it. And wow. that's what they say is the most popular ones. I'll bet like those it. are valuable. They're very I'll valuable. I'll bet you could sell that on the street. They're very valuable. Wow. <laughs> I'm not shitting you, man. This is a fact, you know. It's a fact. You could make a set of collector's cards of... Um... <laughs> it's a fact. That's a futuristic funny, right? <laughs> Oh, futuristic funnery. Now, is that alliteration or consonants? It's, uh, consonants. It's the, it's it's the uh, antonym of condolence. Few, because of the U, fa, and few. Is that why it's both? Because of the U? Futuristic and funny. Is that what we were comparing? Futuristic few. and funny? The well, F you could. You too. I'm flying to watch ball games. Oh, baby, you came to tell me that? Yeah, I'm leaving. Well, let me come in. No, I'm leaving. Well, I know, I know, but why are you holding me hostage at the door? No, I want to walk you around and stuff. You don't need to walk me around. Yeah, but I, I want to come with you. I want to walk you to the door and you stuff. You got Becky and I, you can watch TV together. I'm going to be gone for a little while. I'm We're creating. Are we not? I've been saying it all day, right, Becky, what I was doing? <laughs> Brian said he's going home. He's going to Mars Ball game. Brian, do you know anybody that likes the Cowboys? Uh, because we don't. Check unless you're Joe. It's just, if it's warm, I want that it. Jersey, oh. the cowboy fan will give you some money for that bad twenty hours anyway for that. They're called yeah, they're called what are they called? Throwback jerseys. Throwback jerseys. Yeah, it's T O the Cowboys, jersey. shit like that. It's throwback jersey. A cowboy fan would be interested in buying that. Now jersey. me and Becky all of a sudden it's hard on the astrological care chart. Of the special <laughs> chart on the colored astrological chart yeah. that we'll be working I'm on is cancer mother, and it's going to be you. pink. Mm -hmm. Actually, be your whole chart oh, okay. on your bag would be cool. Every I'll emotion that the later. word pink evokes. Art every later, emotion. I will come yeah. and get you me later like away from the art. spectroscopy where you compare like the yeah, and then everybody starts, the signs and, and then words. like fashion you is like somebody it. starts saying the cancer and they, and they all start like, per, you know what I mean, putting them out there in society. 
like cancer pocketbooks. I and mean, even if you're not of that astrological okay. sign, you just you wear them. Me, come on. Maybe it could be some kind of like um, charity thing. How about if it had hope your whole chart? Cancer. Like hope for cancer. Yeah, that's because simple. The green, simple. The, because Multiple the pink ribbon stands for breast cancer. Are you familiar with the pink oh, ribbon? We just yeah, looked at yeah, that, yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go, Gene. Why are you telling this story while I'm leaving? Because I want beers. There's a case of beer in the refrigerator. Oh, there is? Well, then you can go. What are you standing here for? <laughs> ah, true love. <laughs> She's going to miss her song. Oh, you'll have to pause it. Pause it. it pause later. it. Possess it. This would be nice if it had uh, your whole chart. How oh, well, yeah. Like, customized... Zodiac purses with your entire chart. Yeah. That would be really cool. We could do that with these. If we get like a canvas bag. Maybe. You, you could you draw all to, the chart out and maybe. write on Not, it with those pen. Those are kind of wide. You have, yeah, 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 write on it with pen. Yeah. If you coated it white first or got a white bag, that would be the thing to get a white bag. You could decorate those shoes. With an astrological sign, one of the white pairs of shoes, and uh, with this whole chart. I don't know how you get the chart on there. You just draw it with a pen. But it'd be so tiny. I mean, look at the size of the shoe. It's only yeah, like an inch and a half. you're staring yeah, at your shoes. Stretch. Well, that's so true. That's the next time I'll see Brian is at the seventh inning stretch. I met him halfway. You can go watch the game by yourself, but you have to come in and say hi to me at the If you call, call that phone before Joey's game's over, I'm not coming back. That means Arthur has a long night with you. Arthur? That's a threat. That's an ultimatum. That's a threat. Oh. That, that means <laughs> don't get a phone call. Step back on the bedroom window. Don't do nothing crazy. You cannot Good. control me. Nobody can control me. Not even uh, Arthur. Uh, Art, you were stuck with her for three hours. <laughs> And then I'll come save the day, guys. Our hours. This is your We're hours and your time. Our you hours. Need, you, need, you need to bond with the family anyway, right? We're just uh, talking, so man. We're just here. hanging out. I'm not going to bother them all night or not, man. In about an hour and like two legs. hours goes by. Remember now, the that rope chain, the beer. chain rope, <laughs> and Lechner Lakes? Was that classic? Mm -hmm. Was that the most classic? Is class Lechner Lakes? She opens the door <laughs> and the chain's on it. There you go. <laughs> Art. I'm like, Becky, I didn't even know hours, I never even noticed the she's chain. She's going to be off the hook in two hours. Look, I put in Lechner Lakes. What it say? Uh, ominous. I'm waiting. Drum roll. I say, Gene. Drum roll, you say, bye, say guys. ominous. Bye, guys. We'll be back later, man. Uh, bye, guys. Love you, bye. Look at this. Oh, you're going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> Talented agency. Shirk. Painstaking. Painstaking, <laughs> just like we talked about. The serial killer's victim becomes the serial killer. There's a twist, and that's the twist. And then you start having empathy for the um, serial killer himself <laughs> and hope that the chick don't really kill him after all because he's a really likable kind of guy. He's just been tormented himself. Right, you know, he's it. just been it's a true victim. nature with that serial killer. True nature. Yeah, we do his off. astrology and stuff. Yeah. And just say it was true nature, and he couldn't help it, and he gets off. Sounds like natural to... born killers. Does it? Yeah, basically, it's about um, these two murderers, and um, they're just like naturally like that, and they've been traumatized and stuff, and oh. so they have like this whole cult following of people who support them. Oh no shit! Really become famous. Yeah. Been, I never saw that movie. And then what yeah. happened? Um, well, they're like sent to jail, and I think they escape. I forget the ending. We could download really? it. We could just look it up and find out what happened. And I've never seen Kill the Bill synopsis. either. All these years you told me to see Kill Bill. Yeah. You told me that every year. Mom, see Kill Bill. And I yeah, never saw Kill Bill. Bill. Did you ever see it? No, what's it about? Oh, it's about this woman who like works as um, a secret agent for this guy. And uh, anyway, they were together and he gets her pregnant. But then she decides she wants like out of that life. And he is like bitter about it because he wants to be with her, and he shoots her in the head, but she what? miraculously survives, and he, everyone thinks like she's dead, or he does, or no, I forget. But anyway, and then she—it's all about her getting revenge on him, and uh, like going to kill him. But he has Sounds all this protection. Sounds a lot like La Femme Nikita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it a lot uh -huh. like that in a way, that kind of way? 
La Femme Nikita reminds me of what you just described. Yeah, it's a lot like that. Here, this this is natural born killer. See if you think this. Um, she just wants to be free. She never seeks revenge. Personal occur menace strictly qualified. Because so, certain people are qualified to, to be, be personal menaces. menaces. <laughs> Personal menaces. I gotta close Something the occurs in their personal. Oh, don't close the window. Are it's, you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Tell the dog, oh. be quiet, and call He's him. You know what? He dog. wants to go for a walk. That's what it is. I know. He kept looking at you and asking him. He, he wants, wants you to take him for a he, walk. He wants you to take him for a walk. He wants you to take him for a walk. He wants us to take him for a no, walk. He told me that he wanted Arthur to take I him for a walk. I think he wants us all <laughs> to go for a walk. We should. I guess you don't want Wait. to go for a walk. Mom wanted to hear a song. Yeah, I understood you, didn't I? Look, he said he came over to me and looked I at know. me. Look at him. He's telling you he has to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. I have to get, I have to get, I have to get cigarettes. cigarettes. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom and get cigarettes. And I am very cold. I am very cold. Therefore, I will happily send you on your way. It's You'll have to dress warmer. Oh, hell no, I won't. You'll have to dress warmer. You'll have to dress warmer. I don't oh, go anywhere no. without oh, Becky. Hell no. Oh, hell no, I won't. I ain't going with you. No way it's about down. time you Snow stop smoking. <laughs> you really don't need it. It's a waste What's of money. So smoking, smoking yes, tobacco. Let's smoke some pot. Let's smoke yes, some smoking. pot. Ooh, smoke what? Oh, Ooh. my mom doesn't have any. <laughs> Let's she drink. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but we smoked the rest of Craig packed a bowl for us. So you pack a bowl for me, and then I'll pack a bowl for you later. Okay. 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 Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Okay, we're asking about smoking. Smoking tobacco, right? We want to go back and be specified about that. Deity, I'll say. What's your guess? My guess is deity. Uh, I don't know. Um, habit? Habit. You think it's going to say habit or something close to you habit? You by? And you think he'll buy? Omniscient or dating, I guess, is my guess. Ob obvious. Omniscient. Obvious. And omniscient. Yeah, it sounds like omniscient, sort of. Obvious, tedious, pledge, petite. Oh, because life is so tedious, so it keeps things interesting. That's why you smoke Ooh. tobacco. And it keeps you petite because it's a substitute for snacks. Oh, that's true. So, oh, you think I'm petite? So it fixes your oral fixation. Oh, Becky thinks I'm petite. I thought right? I was a little fat today, yeah. but Becky thinks I'm petite. That's nice of you, back. <laughs> I am petite. My bone structure Oh, you're is such small. a good boy, aren't you? Know, you? The bone you are. Plays into yes. A lot of things. You deserve a walk. Like if you're petite or okay. medium or large, it uh -huh. depends a lot on your bone structure. I'm ready. Structure. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Obvious, tedious, pledge, petite. So I life is tedious and everything is obvious. That's tonight. really clever. I like the way you interpreted that. I don't think I would have got that. This is quite a game. You know, the people could vote for the best interpretation, you know? Hey, Craig. Hey. What's up? Uh, we're, uh, like that pot? Hmm? Did you like that pot? I like, I, I like that pot. That's do you good. have a chain watch? Is that a chain watch? I do, it needs battery. But it is a chain watch. And it's got a little... Wow, that's so cool. Wallet, man. He gives it in his wallet, man. You want a beer, Craig? You got one? He's already got that's one. That's your first beer. We've been asking well, questions. Fine, we've, been, we've been talking to... I don't drink like you guys do. ...to uh, Great Spirit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we were asking questions. We asked uh, something funny. Oh, yeah, they were playing um, Rock, Paper, Scissors, and it said mm -hmm. Accident Game. And then they were trying to like sabotage the game where if you won, then you went best out of three. But if you just, I mean, if you didn't win. <laughs> now you know how to do it. And so Take it said sabotage game. accident <laughs> game. And they were playing a game. It was just like describing it in a funny way. You know what? Every time I went into Camden. Look at this. Look at it says here for smoking. 
eventful human theatrical united by Theatic theatrical Let's because get it, together and feel alright. I think of that movie True Romance smoking. when the guy for, uh, took I, the cigarette I'm not, I'm not and he took one smoke. puff because they were gonna shoot him in the head and the one top maybe puff none of us are into this huge that stream of tobacco like as he was puffing it. The mat, the ashes. Oh, were really? I know. All oh. down. People are united by it, though. It, and he asked the killers. He said to them, "Wow, can can I just have a cigarette before you kill me?" I and they said, it. "Yeah, you can have a cigarette." I, I smoke because he was explaining what Sicilian was, and you know the Sicilian See, mafia was cancer, after him. And he said, they, Sicilians uh, bred with niggers. I had cancer on my right lung. And he goes I to know. explain how during the wars, because uh, everybody in Italy is like blonde hair and blue eyed. That's a false statement. That's like the Sicilians. Because back in the day. But it does unite people. Islands, you know, sitting and around and smoking. It's like, let's go catch a smoke. So and you stand Sicilian together. Children, and the smoke and envelops you. Like, That's why they're, so they didn't believe in like, they're, you know, they believed in having that baby and raising it and stuff. New Jersey now. You can? Yeah, I gotta sign up for it. So oh, you gotta yeah, sign up for it. Yeah, yeah. Dark eye, this dog needs a walk. I really promised him a walk. And I won't have to pay for it. A Medi Medicare and Medicaid will pay Thank for it. Thank you, Arthur. That's kind of you. Now go film some Lechner Lakes for us while you're on your walk. Brandon will show you into the woods. He'd be happy to. Joyce is gonna be sitting there. <laughs> Don't be so hard on Joyce, Mom. <laughs> But I'm fucked up, man. From what? Coke. Oh, you did it all? Yeah. Well. I, I did I did two two bags, man, and whew. Well the crash is worse than the um than any part well, of it. Well talk to Arthur said he would. I just did my last bags. Well, if there if you uh do this chanting thing where you touch your fingers, remember I was showing you the energy? Yeah. That circulates the energy. And then if you say certain sounds that go along with it, uh, satanama, it takes the energy and circulates it back into your spirit. It takes you I away from you the physical. Able, did you ever hear a spinning, Arthur? I heard you were able yeah. to get the... Yeah, see, you feel better already. I like... Um, satanama. I like, uh, um, I like meditating. Well, that's meditation, because when you stop, you get very relaxed. So you do it for about anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute or two you know and you get softer and softer yeah. and then when you stop is when it hits you um at my house in california i was really depressed i went through major depression i suffered from major depression and what i did was i looked out my window every day and i looked at the tree with the leaves blowing and i slept so much and just looked out my window and stayed in bed and slept that I would focus on one leaf on the whole branch, no, my, on the whole tree. And then I'd look at the tree swaying, and it taught me how to meditate, how to get into a meditative state. So now when I meditate, I, uh, I think of that tree. Uh, Ann, Ann Cora got me into it. Meditation. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, it is, yeah. It, uh, it took a black lady to read the whole Holy Bible to me. And if you take your life in the Lord's name of vain, so it's automatically going to go to hell. Do you believe that to be true? See, I don't believe that, but you, yes. you're right to your beliefs. You have yes. a right to your beliefs. I, I wouldn't want to sway you. I do believe I wouldn't want to sway you. I do believe in that. What if you're going to jump on a bomb and save 20 people? What if you jump on the bomb to save 20 people? Or what if you don't? Uh, or what if you don't? When you know you have the ability to, like, you're going to die anyway. And then if you don't jump oh, on the bomb... Oh, you're going to die anyway? Well, then that's different. That, that, if you're that, that's you're like, going to die anyway like because the bomb's going to go off. So would that's you protect like the other people with your body? I would. If I recognized it first, I'd be right on it, top of it. It says in the Bible that... that uh, in Rev There's a time for everything? Rev Rev Revelation. Revelations. I Where's this leash? That we will yeah. all worship the beast? Uh, we will be having wars, floods, and all that. Says. Yeah, and then we'll worship the beast, right? What's the beast? The beast, um... What do you think the beast is? The computer? Is it the computer? Be still, my beating heart. That, what they mean by the beast? Is everything... Technologically advanced? Yeah. Technologically advanced? Yeah, I mean, can't you see it happening? Can't you 
feel it happening. I yes, think it's all good. we're losing our freedom okay. more and more and more. Yeah. Yes, yes and no. We're getting yes, more I can and more see and feel. I can see and feel it happening. Yes, I can see and feel it happening. That's yes, I, Craig, I can. Absolutely, we're also getting Craig. more and more freedom with Craig, the computer. Craig, absolutely, though. I can see it f feel it happening. Right. That's why. Uh, that's that's why I'm glad really that you are here because you just don't protection. Do we offer protection? Not, um, you you just don't know how big of they, they, big of the helpers are. Oh, sweet! I only get uh, seven hundred fifty-six a month. That's it. Well, we're okay. happy to be helps. Yeah, thanks nice for being helps us with the car and everything. Well, I mean, like for God's sakes, Craig is right back at you. When you gave me that four hundred, I had to give it to the motor vehicle. To but me. at least you had it to give. Right. At least you had it to give. And everything will be all right. And everything will be all right in your life now. I like your glasses a lot. I like your sunglasses I, I, too. I, I gotta make an eye appointment. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have wire frames. My dad's. Oh, you're getting your dad's made into get the lens um, put in um, your your lens put in your dad's glasses. Yeah. 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 One time I had a vintage pair of glasses. Oh really? From 1954. They were cat eyes. Oh, I remember them with remember the little them? gems on them. With the gems. And yeah. The, and the colored like. Yeah. This, I know what you're talking about. Swarsky crystals or whatever, they, they look like that. But they were from the 50s, it was brought out in 1954, that glass. And they had just gotten them out of stock from 1954. And they were selling like one per pair in every doctor's office. And I happened to buy that pair. Brian don't like us um, getting stoned. Who, why, why? Um, like we did the other night uh, with um, that so? Jag Jagamaster. Who cares what Brian likes? I don't give a fuck about what I like. <laughs> I'm just telling you what he said. Mm -hmm. He says, um, we'll be back over here after the game. He's very protective of me. Yeah. And I feel that, you know. He's very protective of me. And then, I gotta go and you Can I have here. a cigarette? Can I open them for you? Can yeah. I pack them? Well, you don't have no more? You smoked all yours? Yeah, but I'll, I'll, I'll get you back. And I owe you 10 bucks still for the. For what? For the, yeah. I owe you 10. Yeah, I want Christmas yeah. to be like every day for Rebecca. I, uh, but it can, um. Craig? I, uh, I, I don't remember things because my. I have money in my wallet. My, my, my party, and I, I party too hard. Oh, well, we're not going to screw you. That's why yeah. I was more money to remind you. I can't find fact, um, I his dollars. leash. Can leash. I walk him without a leash? His, his leash is in, uh, in one of the living room floor, man. Well, if I can't it's find him, can I walk him without a leash? Will he stay with me? No. What do you think, Becky? Um, no, I'm only if you find the leash. leash. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lose him. Yeah, that's what I thought. Too. Oh, I got these at the free the free gift store. Do you like my new sneakers? At the thrift yeah, store, where champions. Everything's free. Yeah, nice. everything's free. I got we got Liz Claiborne, Liz Claiborne, and Gas. And I want to, let's go next week. All right, maybe we can get Diane to take us. Yeah. Yeah. I saw her today. She asked where you were because she noticed that you missed your appointment. Ah, uh, I was in fucking her son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was. She asked if you guys were there, but I thought you weren't. So I said, I don't know where they are. That dog Gizmo is real strange. He's the way cute. he growls? Yeah. He's scary. And the way he looks. He He's like, like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> He's wagging his tail. He's gonna bite you. He's gonna bite you. He's wagging his tail. Like, that could be the guy. Yeah, that's his dog. That's the next dog for sure. Too bad we didn't film. Yeah, it's screaming. screaming. That would have been. It was kind of like his toe like nails against the chalkboard to hear that. It's like what the fuck is going on? I but thought you know, he got. You don't want to make a scene about it, so you try to be mellow, as mellow as you can about it. Yeah, I was what like, is he going to be okay? My dog, and <laughs> my dog? I never heard him make that sound before in my life. That's me mean that my dog is making that sound? For Christ's sake. Oh, my God, what happened to my dog? And I see the cat hitting it, right? Hitting <laughs> bandit like this, right? 
I see this. Black hat. Fish slapping black, him. And just smacking him. And they said, well, he got declawed. And I was like, well, what's been wrong with screaming if the cat's declawed? Like, I could imagine if the cat had clawed. Yeah, it would have hurt. What's Bandit's problem? It was a, it, not, because Bandit had never seen a cat before. In his never? Life. Never had that. No, remember the bunny? We'd let him around the bunny all the time, Bandit. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Bandit was all over the bunny. Bunny bit his oh, ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bunny bit his ass one day and said that he ruled and that there would be no, you know, uprising you know from the puppy. Yeah. What? We shouldn't be drinking. Why? Because it says, because our, our medicine says, do not recommend when. I don't care what my medicine says. I'm going to do what I want when I want to. Right, but it says, do not recommend. Well, that's the thought police from 1984.